Zile here. Welcome back to Auction and Not Included, the Frozen Forest Biome Maximum Difficulty. Um, we were having issues with our system over here. One of the problems was we were having water um, in the system, as you can see. We're getting a little bit still of this water that's showing up. And I don't know if it's in the climate or um melting or where it's coming from but we we've just built in some some systematic stuff here to kind of um try and clean it all out and see what's going on i don't know if it's if it's bursting through here or what the story is i just finished cleaning it all out i thought i had it all gone and now more has appeared so it is a bit of a struggle we've got these things cleared out as well and the reason we're clearing this out is because we're going to change this to aluminum. Apparently that's going to help. We need them to take this wall out. But we got to get this water all cleaned up before we can really turn this back on. We're just checking here. So we still have salt water over here. We need this kind of, I don't think a sweep will work there. Now we're going to have to build one up here. So finicky to try and get water out of the system. This is the worst because I can't sweep right here. I have to wait for it to kind of evolve. I had it all cleaned out, so I don't really know where the water is coming from. I don't know if it's up hanging up in here. It's steam. I don't think so. The temperatures are all perfectly fine. I just I don't think it's getting. Maybe it's getting the stuff hot enough to. I don't think so. Because um, salt water's properties are, this is uh, this is not telling me salt water vaporization. And eh, it's pretty close, pretty close to what we're experiencing around here. I mean, it's possible that these, yeah, I'd say these. This is what's going on. This this is too hot. And it's turning the salt water into steam and then quickly evaporating down. So I think in order to actually solve this, we're going to have to put up another barrier. I'm going to cap this off even further. In order to prevent that from happening. Now we can do this. Try and pull that water out of here. I think this, once these two are built, two or three are built, it'll be fine. Yeah, see, we got this bubble of water still trapped here. It's going to be very difficult to to get at it because of the way that uh, this works. We kind of got to wait till it sorts itself out. But at least we we're not. It's not that bad. Um, we will be able to get it because the problem is you can't build one of these tiles here, right? Like, like, I'd have to build it there to get it swept. Can't build there, can't build there, so... Unless this bubble moves around a bit. Some of it here. Maybe she'll get it this time. I think we might have gotten it. That might have gotten it. I'll we'll see if it just, if it does it again. There might be a little bit here. Nope, there, boom, some more came. Yep, some more just appeared. Isn't that wild? Where is that coming from? Completely contained system, and somehow, you know, it's not like these temperatures now are too hot. Somehow it's still appearing it must be from here maybe we screwed this up all right yeah see that as soon as that touches that boom turns it into water Still unreachable. Okay, we're going to have to deconstruct this one then. Yeah, now it can get done. Probably could do both of them. Let's 
Das okay. This should now prevent that from happening, this this barrier. Uh, now is my mopping gonna need to work. Might. Okay, you're probably mopping up a salt one. Okay, did we remove the water? Salt water all across here. Up here, this is obviously dumb. Salt water, salt water. Bottled water. I think we might have. This bulge here concerns me a little. I don't see any water water anywhere. Maybe we got it all? It's looking okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. All right, so now we want to build a metal tile made out of aluminum. There. And then, we've got this pipe, this radiant pipe. I believe you can change them without having a problem. So, how much does radiant pipe cost out of aluminum? 50. We don't really have enough yet, so we're going to have to make more. Let that one go first. <clears throat> I don't know what I was doing over here, but it's clearly not working. I guess I was starting to think about taking this water out of here. Yeah. Um, it's not working. How are we doing here with the aluminum? Still eight to go. We better bump that up to another 20. Oh, we got some uh, blueprints here. Yeah, we'll take the sand. Because aluminum apparently has a better conductivity. Yeah, 205. Instead of uh, whatever the iron was. And then I've got these background tiles. Temp shift plates, which... Um, have a thermal conductivity of 1. Is that what we're looking at here? Oh my god, so their mathic rock is not very good. Or, um... What we're trying to do, is it? Hmm. What do we want to make temp shift plates, then, out of... It's utilities, right? They're very expensive, though. 
Yeah, it would take an awful lot. You make them out of iron just to see, see what the properties are. I assume that making them out of uh, steel is going to do a lot better, but they're very expensive, so I'm not going to worry about that. I think it's overkill. I think we just got to get this done and the piping done, and we'll see some results. Um, how much uh, have we made any more of that stuff? I don't know. It's not been very long. Iron, no. This, uh, not bad. We've got 700. It's uh, 50 per. That's not for 14 pieces. That might be enough. does I don't even care about this one to tell you the truth this one could probably just be normal it look better we just go like that I think this will actually work better now that we've got the water out of the system let's double check that yes we definitely we've gotten it out there's no water this is fine yeah i don't think this is going to get through this now This is done i think we can turn this back on now so this one has to go back to staying um what does this do again this one's the one that controls the pump so it's always gonna be hot so we're gonna say if it's below mm, i'd even say below 30 it should it should let it go and this one should say if it's above 20 let it fly And these ones are the important ones. This one has to say if it's, uh, if the temperature in here is ab above, it's above 25, add more. Right, because when I cool it down, it's getting too warm. And then this one, we should be saying if it's the temperature is uh, below 25, start adding more because we want to heat it up. I think that's what I want to do. Or do I want to go this one if it gets down to 20, if it's below 20, heat it up. And then this one, if it gets above 30, cool it down. Will that give it a nice range? Maybe not. Maybe these do need to be just both 25, similar to the other ones, actually. Let's see how that works. Okay, so at first, though, it may not trigger. This one triggered. This one triggered. Okay, so what's going on in here? We should be seeing a mixture now of things. All right. Small break there. Logged off after for a little bit. Um, where were we? Yeah, so we yeah, that's right. We're we're working this system. Um, this is balanced now. Um, so I think it's working. We're gonna leave it alone for a while. Just let's see what happens. Um, got other things I need to do. Oh, this is a problem. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just noticed that. It's, uh, it's blocked this up. I was going to just leg make all my water just go falling down here.
That's fine the way that's set up. I don't care. This can get chopped out. Oh, I see. We're missing here as well, are we? Yeah, let's get this. No, I better keep an eye on this area. She's uh, she's in that uh, D. Although she can go down this way, so but still, why are there are so many pip babies running around? I guess I had a bunch of eggs in here that hatched. Speaking of pips, did you guys plant one yet? No, you still haven't got an acorn off these things, have you? Acorns. No. I will just leave them be. Be nice to find an oxyfern seed somewhere in here. Hold on a second. All right, I'm back. Made a coffee. I probably should get this to aluminum temp shift plates as well. I'm going to need a lot of aluminum, though, because I don't have that much. Here is a bunch. Maybe we'll dig this out and see if this will uh, help at all. Get this piece. We can definitely come across here. Dig all this out and see how that does. Got this too. Forever. It's a lot. Aluminum plates are like 800 each. But... It may help. Oh, there's another thing too here. This is not balancing correctly. Um, I think if I put a auto uh, a a buffer in here. That we need to get this so it puts in more. Look at that same issue too. We got this piece of carbon dioxide in here, which I can't really get rid of. Just a shame. Man, how do we? How do you eliminate a? Okay, so that filter kind of uh, actually works the way I have it set up. Maybe I'll leave it at five seconds and just uh, call it a day because now it's pressing. It's just about this one piece of carbon dioxide. Um, the hell will I eliminate that? Just throwing this off. Hmm. Almost worth destroying the pump just to remove that piece of carbon dioxide. Because that's going to cause issues the way that is right now. There should be never any carbon dioxide ever get in here again. Um, pretty pure now. And they're always wearing helmets. So we can just eliminate this one piece. All right. Then we will we will get rid of it. Does that work? Maybe I have to build those two first. Okay, so it's still right there, isn't it? Yep. I put one here. Okay, now it's in here. Yep. Okay, so now we build one here. I don't know why this is going red like this. Okay, so 
Now we can X these all out. I don't think it bounced anywhere. Uh, no, buildings. Oh, no, 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 I did that wrong. God damn it, I did that wrong. Z goes back to all, yeah. Uh, X goes to buildings. That. Okay, that solved that problem, and we need to build a regular pump. It can be made out of that, it's fine. And, uh, that going back. Now this should balance this out a bit, and cause that we have double, you should have double heating action going on now, through both of these. Yeah, okay, I think that is now working. Let's go back to the other things we're working on. Oh, we already dug all this out. Fantastic. Have a look here. Aluminum. It's 7.9 tons. It's about all we're ever going to get. We've made hardly any of this stuff. Eight hundred per is ridiculous cost. Yeah, we'll try and do it. This is is this online yet? Just needs to be finished here. That's right. We can even fix this up so it looks good. Yeah, oh boy, I actually wait on this because I gotta get the ladder built now. It's gonna be trapped. Okay. Once they finish this line and this water get moved, that's a lot of water too. A lot of water. A little chilly, but whatever. It'll all balance out. How is our temperature doing? Yeah, we're pretty good. This area, but we're pretty good. <clears throat> Don't really need this anymore. Get my first temp ship plate adjusted over to the aluminum and get one here. Sweep out this stuff too. This could be all affecting stuff. The junk down here just is, you know, I, I don't know if it's really doing much, but keep it clean is better. It's, it'll all be, I don't know, it'll be uh, doing something, so. I guess this one, though, due to the fact it's so hot, is a good thing just to leave there. Okay. 
Okay, so that's cleaned out. I'll leave that alone for a bit. This is almost done. Eleven tons of aluminum. Might be enough. This is working now. We'll get this all drained out. That'll be good. This is working. And we are seeing some processing through. We are seeing... Well, it's balanced here, that's for sure. They're both going. Yeah. I feel like it's working. I think as we add those te aluminum temp shift plates in, it's going to... I think we're missing some here anyways. It's going to help. Yeah, I said it's working. They're both pumping. The other thing we can do also is start to dig out the column here and dropping all this cold material into this. Which, because this is, this is, supersedes this. This is like at 90, um... And this stuff is at uh, minus nine. So, like, the ratio is really off, right, for the balancing. I mean, it will work, but it's very off. So, if we were to start digging all this out and dropping it in here, it would have an effect on it. New printables. Fine. And over here, I haven't got any more... This is looking beautiful. Wow, this really filled out nicely. Um, but we don't have any more, and these can get out now, right? Because these things are in branch stage. Yeah, these can go out, I think. No, this one's not done yet. This one better... Better leave this one alone for now. This one could be done, though. Um, man, where are the acorn seeds? Got plenty of uh, trees. I guess they're just slow. You know, these are all set to don't harvest. Yeah, so branches will slowly just fall off the trees, I assume. I haven't seen any yet, though. This will be slow. But when it's all completely done, I think it'll produce a significant amount of lumber. The, we're going to have to adjust this, though, because we're going to need to get sweepers in eventually, right? We're going to have to get these things in, and there's, like, nowhere these can go in here because all the branches on that level. So that'll have to be fixed because here we can just do, like, this and have them in. So this is, this is a problem. Um, easiest way will be to just basically go through this up here a bit of a job i think what we would do is simply build a platform across here and then we'll cut in here and go up here and we'll just adjust this by one level and then crack it out that way we can preserve the integrity of the whole thing don't know how much wood these things are going to actually end up producing. So far they haven't produced any.
We are straining the power system, I can see. That's another thing we're going to have to do is adjust it over um, to the uh, better wiring. And we'll end up using iron for that because we have a ton of iron, but that's also right now is only... Uh, now it's 100 pieces, right? 2,700 divided by 25 is uh, 108 pieces. That's a considerable amount of this. It could be starting to switch over. It is quite a good amount. Well, maybe we'll get them doing that. Just start getting that going on. Oh, we don't even care about this one. We can actually remove all that iron, all this wiring. Just uh, sever this off. This is not important. We'll get this all out of here at some point. Um, oh, wow, they're fast. Okay, this, yes. Um, and that's not important anymore. This can be chopped out. This is chopped out. This is chopped out all this just don't want to build it where we don't have to this one is important although we could come from a different direction uh, i think i will just leave it like this though um, so this one can be done this one can be done and switched over immediately actually it's on its own independent little run but go um such a job when you switch your wiring over it's so important to get done but this one will do one goes to this stuff yeah that's important is about as much as we probably can do initially. We'll have to get this guy back to making iron once he's done his aluminum ore. Some of this we wired in properly already. Amazing how fast you go through. That's hard to believe that that was like a hundred miles worth I just did there. Not completely out. We got stuff here that we can let's just start eliminating our lines organizing this up better places where it's not needed this is needed Independent. This is not needed. Oh, 
Oh, this is actually now exhausted out from what it's producing. Okay, so it's obviously it's working fairly fast. It's just this side is the problem. Uh, we're going to do something to fix that, though. We're just getting water like crazy. This will be because of the way the thing is. Carbon dioxide is still kind of hanging around up here. Not much I can do about it. So, yeah, we're definitely now working this as fast as possible. We probably should just do this like I was talking about. Or go like this. Literally just going to go all the way up here. Big one. Do this. Right now, what's going to happen is all this cold material we're going to drop down into here. It should help cool things. It may have an impact on it. I don't know how quick it will be, but I mean, this stuff is getting warm pretty fast, so it must be having an impact. And then that cooling will cause this to react. That's like a one shot deal. We get to do this. Although we could put something here and start dropping cold material into it as well. This thing maybe produces more. Next dormancy 67, next dormancy 50, yeah. Average output 1421. Yeah, this thing, oh, that's right. It, it produces far, far more. So it's just a matter of capturing as much as we can of it. Um, we're not going to be able to, unless we later build a actual cooling system, we'll never be able to tap all this. Um, we don't want that to go to waste, though. So... I could build a secondary storage down here if I get rid of all this, which I probably should do. So to do that, well, we'll just design this in. We would want to go, well, not like that. That's we would go like this. Start to build a secondary storage, um, uh, just to make it even. We'll do it like this. And get that going. And then we'll need a temporary pump down here. And we're going to have to build out of this stuff. So we can get a few more aluminum tiles in if we wanted to. Doesn't seem to even be necessary now. I think it will anyways. Where is it? Aluminum. Put one there, one there, one there. This is obviously working. This is cooling it down by dropping the stuff in there. What I'm saying is we'll build a system to drop the water level out of here when it gets too full and start storing it in here for later use. That way we're not letting it waste. Because we're going to want to use that at some point. Oh, we'll take that. 
We'll need that one day. Yeah, that stuff gets all warmed up, but you know, we're transferring the we're transferring the uh, into it. So we'll need to do this where we got um, like this. We'll do this one as well. Is their basic malfunction what do we got going on over here pressure oh yeah i remember many comments about i'm leaking oxygen well that sucks that i didn't pay attention to that for so long I, definitely there was many comments uh, <laughs> saying hey in your other base you're leaking oxygen and yeah it's caught up to me hasn't it um, this is it. why is it saying max gas pressure let's have a look here so this is max gas pressure yeah we got pressure down here we didn't have pressure up here we have two problems. One, we have to fix that. Number two, though, is uh, food. We will. We have a food issue. I never did copy this, and it's not like it's coming online anytime soon. We got a couple hatches we could eat. It won't be enough though. Um, well, we've got two possibilities. One, ship them food which is a certainly very viable if on my other side and one thing we definitely have to do is cut this off to get this uh sorted that's one thing the other really send them food right from the other base do we have access do we have power to that thing this is our shipping thing power down to it um not easily, that's for sure. We we'll need to get it off this. Okay, right, that'll get the power to it as a starter. Meanwhile, over here, you guys are gonna have to kill these hatches. Anyways, it doesn't look like it's that bad. The pressure actually seems to be here right now. I guess it was because I was paused. Um, so let's just get this corrected ASAP. And they should be allowed to eat consumables and meat, right? Sure. Oops. These guys are allowed to eat meat. Yeah. Okay, so they'll get that going. So at least they're not start going to starve to death. Okay, so that's capped that. So that'll that'll just whatever i don't think there's any other leaks going on no there's not so that'll finally sort itself out this stuff is kind of growing get some that's going to be ready soon i think between that bar that meat i just gave them along with this now finally working this thing keeps on saying max gas pressure because it's not able to circulate out good enough. Have any issues circulating about? Yep, 
Maybe it'll slowly get going. Do these guys have the ability to make airflow tiles? They do. Let's uh, crack these. And um, put reach this can they Just delete these at some point. That should be. Hopefully, it's going to solve it. pressure it's I think it's we're okay place pressurized. Crazy. And I guess we don't need to, uh, I mean, this is good to get this done. Why are they not able to reach this? Is it just, uh, we were out of power? Oh, we are out of coal. Uh-oh. This is not good. We have run out of coal, of all things, and we're trapped inside the base due to doors and stuff on reasons 
never realized we were getting so desperate for coal. Man, oh man, oh man. And over here, yep, they ran out. And we pretty much had hit some of our biggest reserves already. I knew I was running out of time, I just didn't pay enough attention to it. Not seeing any fantastic coal reserves. Especially ones that don't cause problems when I dig them out. We are in such limited time now for coal. I guess we've been really burning through it because we've been trying to make all that, uh, all this stuff, and we should, shouldn't have been doing that. Shouldn't have been doing that. That was not worth it. Guess what? That's, uh, yeah, that burns a ton of power for sure. All right, we have to find some coal somewhere. There's a bunch over here for at least a bit of a starter, and we can't seem to get to it for some reason. Um, and a bunch over here as well. Need a ladder access. In all honesty, we're going to have to... Oh my god, why can I never draw these straight? We're going to need to get all into this. Somehow get in here. Okay, so... The reason they can't get out is probably because these suits don't have power. The suits aren't powered. We're going to have to actually switch this off. And now this is this is no longer important. This line this is for later. Okay, what is important is this. They're all gonna get all upset. Uh, it won't be that big of a deal. Just need to make absolutely sure that they're going to. Uh, as soon as I get the power, I'll flip the Atmos suit thing, but we gotta tunnel through all this first. And we'll start looking anywhere for more coal on our own map. There's a pocket here. This is not easy to get to. I have to eventually do it though, so. Then we'll be able to get into this patch in here, which is a huge one, honestly. figure all that out later when they get there.
Yeah, that's about it. But all we're gonna have left. I have to stop trying to make tons of that stuff, those projects, and wait. Are you kidding me? Why? Are our washrooms screwed up? No water coming in? There's no power, of course. Yep. Well, I'm gonna have to deal with it. Geez, I'm almost gonna have to start. I gotta get some power somehow. They're almost there. I think I'm gonna have to actually put in a generator. At least we got the washrooms online. We're gonna have to fix this. They can't be run across that like that. It really sucks to have to be doing all this, honestly. on getting that water piece here got to be temperature related what do you guys build from down here why don't you just build up here like a normal human why do you have to go in the water Assumably now they're just going to run across and there'll be, oh, there's one here though. Okay, guys, seriously, we got to get our hands on some coal. We're going to have to push them. No choice. As soon as we crack into here, we're fine. I'm sorry, I'm doing this wrong. Get into here. A little you got like a literally one rate, like just a little bit more to go. Why can't they get here? Oh, well, they can. Come on, get down there and just get the job done. One piece of coal will turn these things back on and we can we, we'll be happy. Oh my god, they get down there and get one piece done. Jeez. How did they finish this wire? Maybe that's what we have to do, actually. Throw a uh, diffuser in here and give them some air to breathe. 
I don't even know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. We're so close, but it seems like it's so easily we can just do this. Coal. Two more spaces over. Oh, this one didn't have any power anyways. What am I doing? One time it has power, we won't need it. P1. That was dumb. There we go, coal. Okay. Come on, somebody get a piece of coal in here. Jesus Christ. Let's go. One of you has to be capable of hauling the piece of coal out. Are you joking me? They, they can't... Unbelievable. I hate how they'll drop stuff when they have to go get oxygen. Can he make it? I don't think he did. No, they can't make it. They can't make it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. A choice. I'm gonna have to crack it right here. There we go. Okay. Okay. Put this back. Switch this back on. Not very much. Not very much. It'll be enough to get us going for a little bit, but we are going to have a power issue. There is no question about that. We were foolish to be making that aluminum. Yep. And this doesn't, I don't know what's going on with this, but this doesn't, I don't know if this is going to ever actually produce anything for us. I 
mean, I don't think the pips are eating all the branches. Harvest ready. Did they not fall off eventually? Do they need to be harvested? I don't think so. I thought they would just fall off. Anyways, I'll have to research it. I'm going to end the episode here. I think this is good enough for now. I have to think about a bunch of stuff too. So, because I have major, major power issues that have to be corrected. This is not going to be coming online fast enough to solve our power issues. Coal is literally, we have run out. We are on last scraps of it. We're going to have to make it last. We're going to have to reduce our power footprint as much as possible. Um, this is not, like for example, this is not important to move this to spend power on right now. Um, all right, so that, that that's that's a waste of power. We're not going to use this. This system we will keep going. Although it is a big power drainer. Research, we're not doing research right now, so it's not getting power. So... Um, it's not like we're wasting it there. I think everything else is pretty much I need to use. We are on a pretty light footprint overall when we don't burn steel. But yeah, we are we are like, you know, we are at the the limits of our power. And I have to think about, you know, we don't want them getting stressed anymore, so they'll stop using this these things. No, I don't know why they're still using it. They shouldn't be. You know, because I had rearranged them and I didn't set them right. 9085. That's another waste of power. And they're not doing work. So we pretty much... What was this thing for? Oh, that's just to fill this suit, yeah. I think now we're back to a pretty limited power usage. The only things we're spending power on are important things. And we'll have to see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you in the next one.